not going to do that anymore. We appreciate that. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm giving up my catering and I'm going to become a wedding singer. That's my new... Uh, <laughs> no. uh, in all seriousness, thank you guys for coming. And, um, you know, Shops Giving is actually Jam's Thanksgiving. So it's a chance for us to thank all the guys that worked so hard this year. So this is a, a, a Shops Giving, which is really a Thanksgiving. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy and grateful that we're all here and we're all healthy and uh, the company's alive and the company's in business and we're still going to succeed. I mean, it's been a, a tough two years. I don't have to tell anyone else that. You all know that. Um, it was pretty dicey in the beginning. We had the pandemic. We had all the cancellations. We had all the lawsuits, which you guys don't know about, but we had 20 lawsuits going on of people who didn't want to, nah, I won't go into that, but <laughs> that's uh, some of our cancellations. And uh, 2020 was pretty rough. Our sales were down 72% for the year. So that, that, that's a lot. Um, and then this year also was pretty challenging. Uh, we went from zero to 60 pretty quickly. So we had no parties last year. And then we had the busiest year ever this year. So, which was good, but it was tough. We were short staffed everywhere, as you guys know. We had everyone working overtime, long hours, and really killing themselves. So it was tough. Um, but all the departments pitched in, and everyone made it happen. You guys made it happen. Um, the warehouse, for example, I want to thank the warehouse. They had a leaky dishwasher. They had uh, all new staff. They had guys who came here, fell asleep. They had to kick them out, and we were in their cars. And you know, they would schedule 10 guys and four would show up. So it's been a challenge for those guys. And uh, they did a superhuman effort. Um, the kitchen, again, a lot of the same. Yeah. All right, all right. The kitchen, same thing, there was no time to train people, so we brought in a bunch of guys, and some were skilled, some were less skilled, and it was a challenge, but, um, you know, we still put it out. It was 50, 60, 70 hour weeks for a lot of the guys here, um, and there was great food, though, week after week after week. So we had weekends with three, four hundred, three, four thousand people eating, and this was with, you know, a third of the guys being new. So that was incredible. The staffing department, Woo! Staffing department. We had some holdovers from 2020, but not a whole lot. We had to fill two, three, and 350. What was the busiest weekend we had, Kevin? Uh, Cindy. Uh, I don't 350 remember. people? Uh, yes. Yeah, filling a lot of slots, 350 slots. And I know a lot of you guys brought your friends. I know Jen dragged her husband to work. A lot of people came to work. Jean, who's normally um, you know, the HR, she was there serving, and everyone was uh, bringing their friends and neighbors, and we appreciate that. We could not have done that without all that help. Um, but the staffing department was tough. They had to do everything they could to get people to work. They were uh, having ideas and contests and promotions and prizes and basically a lot of begging. I know that uh, Kevin begged a lot of people to work. <laughs> but, um, and then we had call-outs. I mean, as you all know, we had a lot of call-outs. We had, we, I think one weekend we had 20% call-outs. So we had parties. I know Marie was ready to kill me. She had, you know, I need 10 staff and five people show up and, you know, so she had all of her people working and she had her farmer working and she had her cleaning guys working and she had her husband work and everyone was working. It was a group effort. It was teamwork. Um, in terms of HR, we had Jean who was interviewing nonstop, processing, visiting, weekends, always with a smile and a kind word. So we all appreciate Jean. Uh, the admin department, you had Mona doing payroll. If you don't clap for Mona, she's not giving you a check, just putting it out there. <laughs> but uh, she was busy, she was doing double work of everybody, as that Joy had to do. She was tracking down timesheets and saying, Tony, you hired these people. Do I have their names? Do I have their last name? Do I have oh this is Joe who's starting to work. Do I have anything else about him? So that was rough. But again, she, she was always cheerful, always smiling, and she got everyone paid, right? Yep. Woo! Stefan, where is Stefan? Stefan who handled uh, admin, tech questions, bartending as needed. Uh, he, would, he also helped us find some money, which was very helpful with the PPP program. If Stefan hadn't found us all the money, we'd be uh, eating outside today. So thank you, Stefan. He's also the senior advisor and the wise man. Whenever a difficult problem, I say, Stefan, I've got a difficult problem for you. He says, sure. So uh, he helped every single department. I know he helped the staffing department with, with graphs and grids and charts and all that. Um, and you got the sales, of course. The sales department, they didn't sell anything. They didn't do any parts in 2020, so it wasn't a lot of money for these guys, but they continued to work. Thank you, guys. Um, 
And even when no money was coming in, they were still working. And uh, when people were complaining about Jeff Miller's a horrible guy because he wouldn't give these people their deposits back, they had to deal with that. And people complaining and writing bad reviews, and they had to deal with all that. And through all that, they continued to sell weddings. And they did a great job, and that's why this year has been the busiest year ever in part, and next year is going to be even busier. So let's give it up for the sales department, please. And then you've got, you got Jan, everyone's favorite contractor. Where is Jan? He's over yonder. He's over yonder, yes. Uh, he was the only department that was working throughout the pandemic when everyone else was home playing Pinochle. Um, does anyone play Pinochle anymore? Probably not. Uh, yeah, he was, he, he his guys were working, they were there every single day, every single night. Uh, they were putting up tents, taking down tents, putting up electric, taking down electric, um, putting in flooring, and all that stuff. So Jan, round of applause for Jan, please. And Steve, and the rest of his crew. The planners, of course, handling the same questions and complaints as the salespeople. All the brides saying, is Jeffrey Miller going to show up? And he's a horrible person because he wouldn't give back deposits. And, and what, I'm going to have to wear masks. I don't want to wear masks. A lot, a lot, a lot of complaints. Um, but the planners held, handled it with the usual grace and charm. And Jen ran the planning department. So thank you, Jen, for running that. Yeah. And all that stuff did. We got the rest of the national team. I mentioned Jen, Derek, all the stuff they did getting us through. Where is Derek? Getting us through the pandemic with those great letters and all the, uh, we had a whole pandemic playbook that was really helpful. And people said, wow, that's really professional. And I told people that we were organizing, we had our shit together, which we did. Uh, not maybe as much as they knew, thought we did, but we, but they did think we did, thanks to your good work. So, uh, Jeff, earmuffs, I mean, curse words. I'm sorry? Uh, never mind. We got and then uh, finally, Tony, is Tony here? To stand up. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's my partner, and Tony's always there. Uh, he's always pitching in. He's a planner, he's a driver, he's a bread baker, he's a pastry chef, he's a visitor, he's an event chef. And Tony is the living embodiment of the jam values. If you talk about quality, integrity, growth, humor, teamwork, that's Tony. So let's have a little round of applause for Tony. Anyone else I didn't mention my name? It's not because I don't think you guys did a great job. You all did a great job. And every single person is important. If we don't wash the dishes, we can't do the parties. If we're not cleaning the floor, we can't cook. If we don't have the equipment, we can't serve. If we're not planning, if we're not doing all the stuff all you guys do together, we wouldn't have a uh, business. And we wouldn't have such a great business and such a successful business. So thank all you guys. Um, and then, of course, lastly, I want to thank Angelo and his crew. Where's Angelo? Stand up, Andrew. He and his crew put out a great feast for us, which we'll now enjoy. And um, yeah, I just want to thank everyone and John and his people and Cindy and uh, Savannah for setting up these beautiful tables and nice display. Give them a little round of applause for making this place look so beautiful. Uh, and then the last thing I just was going to suggest, we have a, a moment of silence to uh, either, uh, if you thank God, to thank God, or you simply thank your good fortune that we're all here together and uh, after such a tough season to celebrate. So just have a couple seconds of silence. All right, let's see. How's it going, Jeff? <laughs>